I'm gonna spend four hundred dollars on a sweatsuit, you got me bent. <laughs> you really do. Caught me as a lifetime, I was at the Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, we're doing a try-on haul today and I'm super excited because I haven't done a try-on haul in a few months. It's been a while, um, but I'm back with another one and I'm going to be having more to come because I've been buying a lot of clothes, but I just don't record them because truth be told, just isn't really comfortable with my body, still not, but you know what? It's a work in progress. It is what it is. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna um, show you guys some of these pieces I got. And this is like the first Sean haul that I like liked everything. Like, I love everything. I've never shopped on Misguided before. I've seen so many hauls. I've seen so many people tag them and the clothes look cute, but I've personally never shopped on there because like, let's be real. The Misguided website looks a little lackluster, but the clothes, it's like, it's like pretty little things, but better. Same pricing, same kind of, you know, vibe, but the quality of the clothes are so much better for an affordable price. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I got. I have all my clothes right next to me. I have on my robe because I just tried out everything and I wanna, you know, I wanna keep everything a surprise. I don't wanna have on an outfit while I'm doing the haul. So I'm gonna be explaining to you guys what I got. Everything's just gonna be linked in the description box. But um, I'm just trying to do it like this because I feel like I've tried on everything, I've analyzed everything, so I really know what I like, what I don't like about it, versus me just putting it on and just cracking jokes and talking shit the whole time. So, without further ado, before you keep watching, make sure you guys thumbs up this video for me. For more try on hauls, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up because if you guys like watching them, then I'll do them. But if you don't like watching them, then I won't do them. And also make sure that you guys are subscribed because I do lots of videos. Hair, makeup, clothes, all that. Vlogs once in a while. But yeah, so just keep watching. So I got a lot of clothes. I got a lot of lounge clothes because I haven't really been going out. And all I do is come home, go to work, come home, go to work. So I just felt like I needed more put on and go type of clothes. So I got a lot of that and I did get a few cute pieces and a few random things. So this is probably gonna be kind of lengthy. So this first piece I got, I am in love. It is just a simple black dress. It's kind of this slinky material and it has like a high neck and it's one shoulder. And also it's asymmetrical, it passes the knee as well. So very sexy, classy kind of dress. I feel like this is a staple. It doesn't feel like cheapy at all. It's a pretty decent material. Um, so I really like this. I like this a lot. Um, I don't think I own like a really good black dress in my closet. Like all of them are kind of like cheapy or too short. But I think this is like a great like date night type of dress girls night out type of dress it just it's perfect so I got this and everything that I got is in a size 10 by the way which is a UK 14 I think that's how their sizing works is UK but 14 UK 14 size 10 everything except one thing was in a size 10 but that's what I wear so that's what I buy okay so yeah super cute so yeah, super cute, love this. I would definitely get this in more colors. If they have tan, white, red, staple dress, get all the colors, you're gonna love it, okay? This next dress, favorite, love the color on me, love the style of it. So it has this like chain detailing, and let me tell you something, something about chains scream cheap to me, but this dress looks so like nice, it looks so classy, there's nothing cheap about it. It like bunches up, um, like right down the back to give your butt like this plumper look kind of give you that hourglass figure even if you don't as you can see and it also has this cowl neck so again another staple dress in your closet it's a regular dress but the chains in the back like what that's so sexy i personally have an ugly back so it's not doing me justice but for my girls out there with the fly backs and the and the silhouette Girl, this is so cute and they have so many colors. Like I would get another one in black too because it's just so cute and it just, you know, shapes you really well. These slinky dresses don't really hold you in, but they smooth you out. So if you have a nice shaper, you'll be in action, okay? Going back to this dress, um, when I put it on, look at how it's attached. So it's attached to like a plastic loop-de-loop, -loop, which is, I'm not understanding. Um, so this one actually popped off. 
which is still, the dress still fits fine, but I had to literally put it through the cloth. So that's my suggestion to you. Take these little plastic things off and just hook it through the actual dress because I'm not understanding why you would put metal on plastic. I, I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me, but you know, I just wanted to put that out there because, um, <laughs> because I just was really confused. I'm like, how did this break already? Then I noticed that this little plastic thing is a, like, girl, mm. So these next two pieces, um, I didn't buy them to be an outfit together. I just put them on together because I needed to show the pieces. But um, I wouldn't be mad at it together. It actually wasn't bad. So I got this like, I got this skirt. First of all, it's like a leather skirt, well faux leather skirt, and it has two little splits. This is honestly the first skirt that fits me without like giving me a muffin top or like doing something weird. Skirts just look weird on me, honestly. Um, I'm not, I, I try to get into skirts. I, I love skirts, but when I put them on, I just feel like SpongeBob. Like, I freaking hate it. But the skirt was so cute. I love the like double splits in the front. I think it's really cute. Creates an illusion of a cute little figure. But one thing happened when I took it off. You know how they have the little clasp? Um, inside the zipper it literally came off it was hanging by a thread so I mean it's not a big deal because it still zips up all the way but you know clasping it and zipping it just makes it a lot easier so that is what happened with that and then I have this like um, sweater vest sleeveless sweater vest turtleneck type of situation actually super cute I think that you can wear this with jeans, you can wear it with a skirt. It just is a really cute outfit. You could dress it up, dress it down. I've seen people wear stuff like this with like baggy sweatpants. It's cute. So I never had a shirt like that. So I decided to get one. So these next two pieces were sold separately. Um, every other set that you're gonna see in this video was sold together. This one was sold separately and is a little bit pricier because it is a collab with Playboy. And I know you guys have seen this everywhere. I feel like this collection is like maybe an ongoing thing or it's just been around for a long time, but I always see it. So it's this like Playboy um, sweatshirt, which I was really upset because I, I think I got the sweatshirt in a, I got the sweatshirt in a 10 and ended up getting the bottoms in an eight because that's all they had available. But I'm glad I got them in an eight because some of the size 10 stuff, especially the loungewear, was way too big for me. So I should have done a size eight. If I wanted a tighter fit, I could have done a six. So just keep in mind that the sizing for stretchier stuff is a little bit big, okay? So that's probably why I didn't have any problems with anything fitting, anything not fitting. So um, I really did like this sweatshirt because it kind of crops in the back and hugs, so it kind of gives you the illusion of like a, a cinch, cinchster waist, cinchster, that's not a word, but you get what I'm saying. And then the bottoms, I was kind of confused because they did not go down to the bottom of my ankles, which is what I thought, so you could just like bunch them up so it's fine, I sometimes wear my sweatpants like that anyway where I kind of bunch them up, but just FYI. And I also got this because I don't know if you guys have seen the Von Dutch. Um, I know, I know, I already know about Von Dutch. We all know about Von Dutch, but classic, okay? Um, the Von Dutch hoodie, the tie-dye hoodie and sweatpants. I was gonna buy them, y'all. They were $179 each for the top and the bottom. If you think I'm gonna spend $400 on a sweatsuit, you got me bent. <laughs> you really do, Von Dutch, okay? Because you don't even like black people, so. <laughs> Anyways, but it was really cute, so I might as well get something similar. I did want the like oversized hoodie, but they didn't have it in my size. But now that I'm looking at the sizing, I could have probably got a size six regular hoodie. But I really do like this hoodie because I've never had like a corset type of vibe with the loungewear, so super cute. Love that. The qu and the quality of the sweatpants are not flimsy at all. Like, I don't, I, okay, I shop on Pretty Little Things a lot. Like, I shop religiously on Pretty Little Things, okay? But the quality of their stuff, especially like their sweatpants and stuff, they just don't hit. And I feel like with sweatpants, it's something that I'm going to grab and wear on a regular. It's not just a take a picture thing. If I'm, more, if I'm buying sweatpants, it's something that I'm going to wear 
at home, if I'm running to the grocery store, or lounging around in. So I feel like the quality of loungewear should be like up there. It's my favorite piece. I told you guys I got a bunch of lounge stuff and I love loungy clothes. I got this black jumpsuit and I also got it in gray, okay? I'm so glad I got both and I was like, maybe I should get like, something else and not two of the same things but like if I really like something I will get all the colors and I'm gonna double check and see if they have any other colors because I love these I love how it fits it's like it's not thick okay it's not thin and cheapy but it's also not overly thick so I'm able to wear it in this weather I know it's summer but I'm typically indoors whether it be in my house or at work or something so or if I'm even if I'm running errands I'm going in and out of somewhere so it's like really breathable but still gives you that coverage kind of gives you that cinched look like I just love these okay so if you are a girl like me that likes to just throw on stuff like you need stuff to go to the grocery store I would even wear these to work with some cute sneakers and just call it a day you can dress these up if you want to if you're like a fly a fly bitch you can wear some like cute ass heels put on some like jewelry like a cute bag and you can just pop out but I'm more on the loungy side so I would definitely do sneakers and maybe some accessories like very minimal you guys know I don't over over accessorize and yeah so love that I got another jumpsuit this one's more I guess summery um, I typically literally only wear these in the house because these just are not flattering to me but they're so comfortable so this is like a tan one it's kind of ribbed well not kind of it is ribbed I just hate when they put non-functional things on clothing like buttons that don't button and unbutton um, what are these called? Oh my gosh, just at the tip of my tongue. You guys know I'm always brain dead. I hate when they put, um, anyways, uh, not elastic bands. Freak! I hate when they put these things on them and they don't, they don't tie. Like, I can't tie it. It's just there. Who needs an accessory tie? Just take it off. Or when they put pockets on clothes that are not really pockets. Like, it's just mind boggling. So yeah, this is something I'll definitely just wear in the house if I have to run to the grocery store, Target run. That's something that I would definitely use that for. So yeah, and also I got this jacket. It clearly doesn't match, but I needed something. I just put it over it because I got it. Love this jacket. I love the detailing on this jacket. It's um, an oversized cropped thing. You can wear it with a dress. You could wear it with shorts and a, and a like, tube top kind of thing. Like, you can do anything with this. I love oversized jackets. And this is one that you could wear in the summer too because it will add to your outfit. But it's not thick at all. It's definitely like thin, but it's not cheap. Like I can tell cheap material, but this is not cheap. So love this. And I love the design of it. I think it comes in like a navy blue too. But you guys know I'm a pink girl. So I had to get the pink. But um, then I got this thermal piece. It's like just a little lounge wear. I'll probably just wear this in the house or again if I have to run out. And it's weird because this one and the next one I'm about to show you, I literally ordered the same of them, but they came different. And I noticed that when I was like gray and black, that one had a hood and like the black one had a hood and like the um, hugged on the ankles like a jogger type of look and then the gray one was more on the wide leg side so I don't know what's going on with that because they're under the same like category um, but yeah I really do like this super comfortable and of course you guys see I don't even know I'm grabbing the clothes if I'm showing it but of course you guys see the gray and it has more of a wide leg it's more like a pajama feel I actually like the gray one a little better but I like both of them a lot, if that makes sense, so, yeah. Then, we're almost done, guys, I know, I know. I feel like I'm talking a lot. But I got this ribbed lounge outfit. It's actually too big, it's a size 10, but it's like super big. But I do really like it, if I got this in a size eight, I would like it a lot more, like a tighter bottom and a baggier shirt. I just don't like that, like, this crotch area is like very loose, you know, so maybe I can get it like, I wouldn't even get this taken in like it's lounge clothes like I'm gonna be at home so like and then it doesn't have like sh like adjust like a thing to adjust the waist so <sighs> but it's so cute though you guys see you could tie it up 
you can leave it down you can do what you want to do this is real cute and you know i i personally love sets too because you can you can wear them like you can just wear the pants and like a, a regular t-shirt or a tank top or a tube top you can wear the top with jeans or with anything else like you don't you can wear it with leggings like you don't have to wear the set i feel like you get more for your money with sets so i always wear sets and like i'll wear them together and then i'll like mix match them so lastly i got some halter tops and i love them i don't know why i got the same size in both of them let me see it's probably not even the same size yeah they are the same size wow i got the same size in both of them and the gray one kind of has like i have to keep pulling my boob up so that i don't have that under boob um and then the tan one fits like perfectly but i would wear this with like jeans like some high-waisted jeans that would be really cute some shorts like you know just something you could throw on you could wear these with sweats like it's really a vibe so that was a lot of talking, but it was so much easier to do it like this versus like talking and trying to show the outfit because then I feel like I'm not showing you anything because I'm too busy talking. So it's like the best of both worlds, you know, because I like watching Tron hauls like this. So I was like, let me try it out myself. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Tron haul. Make sure you guys check the description box. All of the items will be in the description box. They are affiliate links. So if you're not into that, then can search the products on your own what can i tell you but yeah everything is going to be listed below i give misguided a thumbs up two times times two I've, i'm just like impressed like i really like their clothes i just feel like going on their website it's not as eye-catching as like fashion nova or pretty little things it's just very lackluster but they do have nice pieces and if you want staple pieces i would definitely check them out so, um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Do not forget to thumbs up this video. Comment below some other clothing places you may want me to do try on hauls from, and I'll make it happen. I'll make it pop. And until next time, I'm out.